Virginia, please look up a monument in Richmond, Virginia called Rumors of War. It's a stark contradiction to the monuments that we have in Richmond, Virginia to Jeb Stewart, Robert E. Lee, Jeff Davis, and a lot of other Confederates. And it's a beautiful addition to our city. Look up a monument called Rumors of War. I'd like to see monuments in our city to people other than rich and fucking white men. In particular, I'd like to see one for a man named Gabriel. And before I die, I'm going to look at that fucking monument. Does anyone know the name Gabriel Prosser? My conscience says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade up in Brookfield Plantation. A Henrico County slave for the owner Thomas. If you listen closely, you'll hear the words perfect. The Caribbean uprising caught fire in this land. Up and down the James River, a monkey of Appomattox. Tobacco soil gone bad for the movement for the blacks. And nine years before, down in Santo Domingo. Slaves refused to submit and took the right of all men. Virginia whites got nervous and all more militias as blacks inspired, plotted, and passed on their plans. Mr. Blossom's Gabriel was smart as he was strong and had a keloid scars no matter no one right from wrong. Voted general at 24 in the year of 1800. On the five of hymns and wailing on his fellow slaves. Now, does anyone know the name Gabriel Prosser? My conscience says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade off in Brookfield Plantation. A Henrico County slave for the owner Thomas. It was on an August night outside of Richmond. Gabriel's men gathered as their owners they slept. Some would burn city streets to attract residents and masters, while others took the capital and freed convicts. Well, the whites, they knew nothing, never seen what could hit them. Nothing like this could happen with their carefree black men. But think about freedom. Now think about slavery. Blacks arm themselves with muskets and homemade babies. With a white flag on the capital, all blacks in the rise. White spare would all lose an arm. You're a coward if you own them for profit and greed. You're the coward of all and for all you must. Says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade on the Brookfield Plantation. A Henrico County slave for the owner Thomas. Yo, when this song is written, it came with the realization that where Gabriel and his brothers and sisters were buried after being hung by the state of Virginia for insurrection. The place they were buried later became a parking lot for Virginia Commonwealth University students to park their cars. No matter where you stand on anything politically, there is nothing more disrespectful than having students park vehicles over the remains of any person, no matter who the fuck they are. But in this particular case, this motherfucker was a revolutionary who risked his entire well-being, his family, everyone's well-being to free himself and others. There are so many layers to history, y'all. I'm so proud to say in Richmond, Virginia, there is no longer a parking lot over the place for Gabriel and his brothers and sisters are buried. And a lot of people put in a lot of fucking footwork 
to make that happen. So that's the amendment to this song. But now it's time for monuments, motherfuckers. There when Tom crowded out Gabriel Prosser, their owner was Mosby, a neighbor of hell. They say the sky seems seems a brain and lightning on the night of August 30th. One could see no stand. The militias let loose to haunt Gabriel Prosser, who took to the swamps as they imprisoned his men. Flag a boat whose captain was a Methodist preacher, put a traitor slave term in him in the end. They hung Gabriel down and brought in 15th Street. Lord, he would not give the word up on his men. But he took that noose and he took it with honor. He's buried beneath parked cars now and paid them. There's no monument, there's no stone here to see him. Just black eyes far flanked by high rise hospital chains. says he's the one in history man. 